Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada with a Avada short. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the background slider tab on containers and columns to add a simple slider into your content. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. A fantastic feature in Avada is the ability to add multiple background images to containers and columns, creating a simple slider. I've imported the business pre-built here, and we can see that this hero container at the top already has a background image. I'll just edit the container and go to the background tab, and on the image tab I will delete that here, and instead move to the slider tab where we can add multiple images. The first thing is to select the images. What's important here is that you select appropriately sized images for the space. This is a full width container, so I want images that are at least 1920 pixels wide here. Just hold down the command or control button to select multiple images. I'll choose these three. The next option allows you to adjust the background positioning, and depending on your images you may want to adjust this. It's probably a good idea here to use images that are all the same size. But remember that a container's size is dictated by the content, or padding, or by setting a height option, so there's a lot of flexibility here. In this example, the container has a minimum height, which almost matches the height of these images, so basically we are seeing the full image. Skip lazy loading comes next, and if your container is in the viewport upon load, you should set this to yes. Loop is the next option here, and by default it's already set to yes. This will be the right option in most cases, but you can set it to no if you prefer. You can also set pause on hover to yes in the next option, but here the default is no, and I'll leave it at that. The next option is slideshow speed. This is the duration between slides in milliseconds. By default it's set to 5 seconds. That seems pretty good in this case. Then there are animation options. You can choose from 6 different transitions here. Fade, slide, stack, zoom, slide zoom in and slide zoom out. There are some cool effects here, but I think fade suits this site best. Then there's animation speed. This controls the speed of the animation. Here the default is 800 milliseconds and I'm also good with that. Finally, you can set a blend mode to your images. This works with the colour or gradient colours in the other background tabs in the same way it does with a standard background image. Ok, let's go to preview. After a few seconds the animation kicks in and our image changes. And as I have set it to loop, it's just going to rotate around my other three images. Ok, that's it for this Avada short. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.